Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to perform a standard personal recon process in Maltigo. Maltigo is used by international, federal, and local law enforcement agencies around the world, including cybercrime investigators, cyber detectives, digital forensic units, and cyber criminologists. First, we have to map the online presence of the target by looking at relevant websites and images. Second, we are going to find personal information like email addresses or phone numbers from that person's online footprint. Third, once we can confirm his identity, we'll pivot into advanced person of interest databases to obtain more specific identity intelligence. On the left side of the application, we can find some options such as finding intel about companies and organizations, DNS names, locations, alias, documents, images, phone numbers, person of interest, and email address. For safety reasons, to protect other people's identities, some parts of this video will be blurred since this person asked me to perform an audit on his blueprint on the web. Select phone number option and drag it to the graph. Type the phone number you want to get relevant data. Right click and select all transforms. This option queries everything from URLs, DNS, carriers, emails, IPs, geolocation, phone numbers related to it, and everything associated to that particular phone number. Now, we can select our person of interest associated to that number. Right click on the name and press all transforms. A new branch will open. This new branch will show emails, phone numbers, and social media connected to that person. If we right click on his or her Facebook and press go to URL, another branch will pop up as well, displaying the specific URL of that person's Facebook profile. Keep in mind that the same process can be applied to other entities such as enterprises or a Bitcoin address. As long as you have an idea of who or what you are looking for and if that entity has online profiles or footprints, you should be able to discover them. In this other example, I want to show you how to combine Maltigo and other third-party person of interest databases. First of all, we entered the phone number of someone we know. Right click it and select the transform tool called Get Tags and Indicators for Phone Numbers, IPQS. IPQS stands for IP Quality Score, meaning that this particular query will provide enterprise grade fraud prevention, risk analysis, and threat detection, analyze IP addresses, phone numbers, email addresses and URLs or domains to identify sophisticated bad actors and high-risk behavior. Results start to show up with owners of the phone number and their location. Right-click the phone number and select 
look up phone number OpenCNAM. Maltigo uses the OpenCNAM API to retrieve a person for a phone number. In other words, this will be the most likely name of the phone number's owner. Our third step will be to select our person of interest and run a transform to email address using the Bing search engine. A new sub-branch will appear. In this case, I got five emails associated to that person. One of those emails turned out to be his or her own personal email. You can even verify emails to see if they have been reported for scam or fraudulent purposes. Finally, right-click on that person's email address and select Go to URL. This is the most interesting part of the process. In this new branch, we can see that person's full name, even their relative's phone numbers, and a URL to clustermaps.com. By going to that URL, I could see that person's entire family, every member with their own age, phone number in that household, names, complete address of their residence, and also what's their average rent and household income.